Welcome to AstroVenture, the DSLR Astrophotography Channel. Hey everyone, it's uh, my lunch break and I've been sitting here thinking about the uh, 2023 annular eclipse that is coming up on October 14th. And I'm really excited for it because this time I'm not going to have to uh, travel very far and an annular is going to look absolutely wild. Now, um, one of the things that I learned in preparing for the last eclipse back, eclipse back in 2017 is that you really need to start doing your planning way early and getting set up for it so that you can you know, get this right. It's not like you get to do a, a retake on it. So I decided to uh, share some of the websites that I use for getting my planning done. And uh, I hope these help you out. And so here you go, take a look at the tools that I use. This particular website is called nationaleclipse.com and I will link directly to the 2023 annularity eclipse. But the reason for showing you this one is this website, although they're selling merchandise and other things, the website is chock full of great information. It has a lot of descriptive information. If you don't know what an annular eclipse is, it goes on through and gives you lots of details. But one of the things that I find best in here is this link, Interactive Google Eclipse Maps. Uh, developed by Xavier Jubier. I, I don't know. I apologize for butchering the name. But this is what the link brings up. And with this, you can zoom in. And the absolute beauty is up here in this corner, it will show you the latitude and longitude for a given area. And you can see this is the width of the eclipse. This is the center line of it. And so you can plan ahead. There's a, a road passing through and you can know exactly the latitude and longitude shown in the upper left corner to be right down the center line of the eclipse which is going to give you the greatest annularity time to observe the eclipse. Now going back to the main page what I also love is these are the states that the annularity eclipse will pass over and you can click on one of them and it will jump down the page to that given state and it gives you additional information getting more specific. So for example, in Utah, down the center line, it enters at 9.08 a.m. Mountain Daylight Time with the actual annularity beginning at 10.24 Mountain Daylight Time. But there's all kinds of information just full within this. Again, the map within Utah showing you additional areas of significance or importance that are there. And then below that, two more links, a list of Utah cities in the path, uh, as well as some events and festivals that are going on, working with the, uh, the, the eclipse going on. So there you go, that's nationaleclipse.com and I'll have the exact link jumping to the 2023 annularity eclipse for you to uh, explore. Absolutely great website. This website is absolutely amazing for giving you some very specific information because when working with an eclipse, you don't want to mess up. Now, with an annularity, you're never going to view it with your naked eye. So, you know, we don't have the, uh, the risk of burning your eye because you're always going to have to have protection. But working with a uh, traditional full eclipse where you do take off the protective wear, these specific times can be very important. But let's take a look here. I'm gonna jump over to Nevada because I'm thinking that's where I'm gonna head for this particular eclipse. Now, using uh, these different websites that I'm showing you, you'll be able to track down, get directly on the center line, figure out exactly where you want to go. But here's the beauty. Let's say that I'm heading to uh, Carlin in Nevada. Once I figure out exactly where it is that I'm gonna go on the map, and I can zoom in more, I can click on the map and it will bring up the exact latitude, longitude, duration of the annularity eclipse uh, from start to finish, the duration of the actual annularity, 
when it begins, when full begins, the maximum of it, when full ends and partial ends, but it gives you all of this information. This is absolutely critical for really planning uh, you know, how much time you're going to be able to get on this particular target. And to help you uh, take a closer look, you can full screen this, and then you can play with this and move it around. So right now I've got 4 minutes, 38 seconds. If I move a little bit more to the southwest, it changes it to 4 minutes, 40 seconds. So I can dial it in and get right there on that spot of exactly where I'm going to get the maximum time under the annularity eclipse. And this is timeanddate.com. And again, I will share the exact link below to get you to this part of timeanddate.com because you can easily get lost in this website because there's so much great information in here. This particular website that I want to share with you is called freeroam.app. And the reason why I love this one, and this isn't just for using for the, uh, the upcoming Eclipse, but the reason why I love this website is because this uh, app will show you land that is available for you to do primitive camping on, or dispersed camping as it's called. And out here in the West, a lot of our land is actually still owned by the federal government, and any land that is Bureau of Land Management, or BLM, you are able to dispersed camp on, or primitive camp on. And so, between the different websites that I've shown you, you can locate exactly where it is you want to go down the center line of the annularity eclipse, and then locate that on this map. Now, unfortunately, uh, the app doesn't allow you to punch in latitude and longitude, so you'll have to do a, a little bit of tracking down. But let's just say that along this road is where I decided to go to. I can move to this area. I found my spot. I can move over to the layers in the upper corner, expand it, and I can click on BLM. And right here, I can see that this is all BLM land. These white areas are not. So I would have to be careful, but any with, anywhere within these orange striped areas, I am able to camp in. Additionally, let's say that maybe having cell phone signal matter to you. You can overlay it with, and I clicked on T-Mobile because that's the one that I use. It's showing me is no T-Mobile service there, so I could back out a little bit. And here in these pink areas, you can see where T-Mobile service is available. So that could help to, you know, for you to make your decision as to where you do or don't want to stay. Uh, particularly in the summer, the fire and smoke can be useful. Uh, there's not anything really coming up right now, but in the summer out here in the West, we burn quite frequently. And this fire and smoke overlay can be really useful for, uh, you know, astrophotography or in this case, planning on where you want to go because you don't want to put yourself uh, in a position where you have fires going. But there's all kinds of great maps, uh, oh, excuse me, overlays, and this is a free-to-use website, freeroam.app. I really encourage you to uh, use it, learn it, explore it. Tons of information down the side, and there's some great tutorials on YouTube to explain it as well. So there you go. I hope this one helps you not just for the annular eclipse, but year-round if you like to camp out here, particularly in the West. Well, I hope you found all of those tools useful uh, and sure hope that you bookmarked them. And again, below uh, the video here, we have the links going directly to the uh, areas of the different websites that I was using. And I wanted to encourage you to get familiar with them and start using them. And one last thing before I let you go on this, we would love to see you over at our Facebook group, AstroVenture DSLR. And uh, we got a lot of like-minded people, and it's a, uh, a great learning place for astrophotography. So we'd love to see you there. As well, if you uh, like the uh, content and what we're doing here, consider liking, subscribing, and ringing that bell. And uh, final parting wisdom. If you are planning to go out and photograph this with a telescope or your camera or use binoculars, whatever the case may be, you really need to get your solar film ordered now. If you are in those final three months before the actual eclipse, good luck. 
you're likely not to get what you need. And then with the uh, last eclipse in 2017, we saw a lot of companies flooding the market last moment with uh, supposedly, you know, eclipse glasses and film and things, and they were not up to the standard that was needed to protect your eyes. So get on it now, get that ordered. So until next time, I wish you clear skies, uneventful nights, and uh, good luck with planning for the annular eclipse.